The parliament, dominated by Albanian Prime Minister Edirama Socialist Party, voted overwhelmingly to approve the migrant deal with Italy, as conservative opposition lawmakers tried to disrupt the vote with whistles. In a bid to address the ongoing European migrant crisis, Italy recently entered into a controversial agreement with Albania. Under this five-year agreement, Albania will host up to 36,000 migrants for a year, approximately 3,000 per month. These migrants are primarily those attempting to reach Italy without visas, often risking their lives in treacherous sea voyage. While the agreement has received support in Parliament, it has also sparked concerns and criticism. Our impression is that this hurry is solely due to one thing, to the need to get at least one ship to Albania before the 9th of June, in order to make a good photo opportunity and secure a profitable position in the election campaign, only that the election campaign of a party or a president of the council of a majority should be paid for by the parties of the majority, not by the Italians. Italy's centre-left opposition has gone so far as to brand the initiative a shameful attempt to turn Albania into Italy's Guantanamo. But Prime Minister Meloni disagrees. I've heard all kinds of fake news about this agreement, including that we would like to build an Italian-style Guantanamo, deport migrants, that the agreement would violate international law. Look, the only right that the agreement violates is that of human traffickers which has been guaranteed a lot in the past, but this government certainly will not guarantee. Two processing centers will be established in Albania, one in the port of Shenzhen and another near a former military airport at Jeddah. These facilities, run by Italian officials, will handle the migrant asylum claims, while Albanian guards will provide security. Under the deal, if Italy rejects asylum bids, Albania would then deport the migrants. Children and pregnant women will be excluded from the plan. But the accord fails to address how Albania would manage to deport migrants back to their countries of origin when Italy has difficulty doing so. Albanians were surprised and not clear what the agreement mean. Many people are angered by the fact that such an agreement with wide social impact was signed by Albanian Prime Minister Edirama without public consultation. For us, there is a moral obligation to open the door to anyone in need, but there is no moral obligation to resolve the world's problems. It would be impossible. Under such a situation, it seems that our Prime Minister continuously takes over to resolve the world's problems, to gain credits internationally, without consulting with people. As the implementation of this controversial agreement unfolds, its impact on the lives of migrants and the future of migration policies in Europe remains uncertain.